Hey everyone, welcome to Greenlight. So we're here at the Best Buy in Miami, the Dadeland station. So we see a lot of 4Ks already that are on sale and uh, some really good prices. Um, that was like $14.99, I think. And so was uh, the Hulk, this Hulk one that my son's obsessed with the Hulk right now. Um, we just saw the Avengers movie, the first one. I kind of skipped over some of the scary parts with, um, well, you know, if you've seen the first Avengers, not to give anything away, I guess. This is the first Ang Lee one that he's putting away. He says, no, I got it. He's like a little Hulk himself. He's got this. Yeah, a lot of good prices here. And automatically, we see one a good amount here. Um, I saw Invisible Woman there. It was like $14.99. Hobbs and Shaw, $17.99. Yeah, Full Metal Jacket, of course, is always going to be way more expensive. Not that it doesn't need to be, you know, Stanley Kubrick and all. $14.99 for all the John Wicks. $19.99 for Tenant. My son is holding... What is he holding here? Oh, yeah. Batman, Batman animated cartoon uh, feature film, and he was calling everything um, like mini figures, because whenever he sees like a little like action figure, so these are all the new movies, um, and I've been looking for like steel books basically throughout this whole video. When we were shopping here, I was looking for steel books, kind of like on a kick with steel books when I came to the FYE video. Um, these are speed, and um, this video was taken before um, uh, this past Tuesday, uh, which is being released on Friday. So on Monday is when we filmed this, and uh, and I was looking for some Blu-rays. Um, I was actually looking for some steelbooks, and I and I don't know. I was looking for like a good deal, maybe something with a good deal or something. So, but when it came to steelbooks, you know, they're very expensive. Yeah, Lovecraft Country. This show is amazing. Really good show on HBO. Highly recommend it. Um, do not recommend it to your children, though. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my son doesn't know what he's grabbing off of my hands. And he's hanging out with us. And uh, I was just so shocked that there were so many movies still left at this Best Buy. I used to work at this Best Buy, actually. Um, back in the day when I was going to college... It was uh, Art Institute, actually. And uh, look at what we have here. Quantum of Solace. Not everybody loves it, but it's 4K steelbook. Very nice steelbook. I like that. It's got, you know, almost like this shine to it. Very cool. Elysium 4K. I see this Star Wars. Big collector Star Wars uh, set. That's amazing. 13 hours. Steelbook. Yeah, I guess that's all right. I don't, I don't know. Alita, of course. I was going to grab this, but it's in 4K. Uh, this is $13.99. And then we got uh, Steelbook, more Steelbooks for uh, Wonder Woman, of course. And a Steelbook. Ooh. Yeah, this is a nice steel book. Look, it has a bunch of bonus features too. Earwig and the Witch, I believe it's called. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, my son likes that. It's in 4K right now. I believe it's on sale. $14.99, Invisible Woman and the Joker for $14.99. And then I think Avengers is $17.99. And this is where it happened where um, we ended up seeing this afterwards. But he's been obsessed with the Hulk the whole day here at, uh, at Best Buy. And then we ended up watching um, uh, the Hulk on Monday night uh, on, on the Avengers and the first Avengers film on Disney+. Plus. So thank you, Disney+. Plus. Look, Alita. 
$14.99. And then you got 13 Hours There, Steelbook. The Die Hard one was pretty good too. Let me know down in the comments if you would uh, buy Die Hard in uh, 4K. Because anything on film, I would think have a good restoration into 4K. Um, nowadays, with the whole hard drive situation, it's a little, it's a little iffy. Wow. Yeah, the Virtuoso has little commentary special features. And then... Wow, that's a great price for Star Trek. Uh, the first two J.J. Abrams Star Trek. And then I just uh, picked up uh, these two movies right here. Basically, um, $14.99 for the Blu-ray of Spider-Man Far From Home. Because we were about to go right now really quick. And then $8.99 for Alita, which was the Blu-ray. Kind of wished there was a slip cover for this, but it's okay. Uh, we're going to unbox it here as well. And I'm going to do a giveaway. It's kind of almost a surprise giveaway for both of them. Um, so whoever wins this wins both of uh, these uh, movie codes. Uh, so, all right, so we have Far From Home and my son watched um, recently with us and my wife did for the first time as well. We watched it full through, was, um, was uh, uh, Homecoming, um, Spider-Man Homecoming, the, basically the Blu-ray that we purchased at the FYE in Naples. Um, so then I, I just had to get part two I enjoyed it. I loved it. I watched it um, not too long ago. So I, you know, just getting back into Marvel and everything with the pandemic kind of helped me get right back into all the movies and stuff like that. So really, really cool. And we're going to open it now. All right. So... As you could see here, you get the Blu-ray and the DVD. Really, really cool. And there's like over an hour of special features, which I'm like really psyched about. Just purchased a, a little portable Blu-ray player so I can like carry it around with me and then watch um, the special features, whatever special features I f you know, feel like watching. And Alita has like, over two hours or something i believe so to enter into this giveaway so you'd make sure that you're into, into this giveaway i'll let you know at the end of this video um but i really love these special features um two hours and the man who does the best special features is none other than Robert Rodriguez. He does like the best special features for um, for run and gun micro budget filmmakers. Guerrilla filmmaking is uh, like his forte and where he comes from. So uh, I love him and I love anything he's he does. And I saw this movie on HBO Max like a while back. I think it was just HBO Now at the time before HBO Max. But um, so I had to get this movie. Uh, I wanted to get it in 4K but i don't believe it was shot in in on film and neither was uh spider-man far from home but i wanted these two films and i really wanted them in my collection um but um yeah i don't know i'm still kind of like on the fence with some 4k sometimes even though i have like um like the latest star wars film with jj abrams but that was shot on film too so you know you can give me that i did want it uh like a special edition kind of get going on everything in this channel so to enter in make sure you uh like this channel subscribe and uh do a comment on down below as well